care. I think I am not normal. Your loving daughter, Nuru. Then I rush here to attend to her and to tell me that my daughter has disappeared. That my Nuru has disappeared. Why? Nuru's disappearance is good news to me. Finally, I, Kyla, current Miss Ocean Pals, will get the attention that I deserve. And my dream of being the face of the school. Stop, Chandy Girl! Come true, because that animal, Precious <laughs> Cow Ma, is nowhere to be found when the school starts to photoshoot. Exactly! <laughs> Miss Madison, you, as the principal of Ocean Pals Academy, had the sole responsibility to take care of my daughter. If I don't get answers to her whereabouts, nor the reason why she is not in school, I promise you, help will go. Come on, you calm down. I will only calm down if you give me back my daughter, the way I gave her to you, on a mission, on. and get to know the reason why she is not in school, where she is supposed to be. Mama Nulu, please. Madam Principal. Please. As I was checking each and every room in the hostel, I found this note underneath Nuru's pillow. To whom it may concern, read, since I don't know what. Impossible! My daughter can't be dead! Mama, this is not my daughter's handwriting! She is not the one who wrote that this I don't know! Mama Nuru, daughter, I am going to look for my daughter! Mama Nuru! And if you. As the reason why she is not in school, that all hell will break loose. <laughs> Dr. Adeli, Nuru's disappearance story is so sweet to my ears. Girl, Kyla, let's go celebrate our, our triumphant victory. victory. Woo! Sister Maria, Sister Maria, Sister Maria, Sister Beverly. What is it? We have a problem. One that we can pray about? No. Something that has never happened in this school. What is it? Please, let us go. You see it for yourself. Gracious Lord, Madam Principal, I found her at the gate and she told me her name is Nusra Barkat. Nusra, what brings you to my school? Ad admission. Admission? I want to be admitted here. And... your parents an issue of such magnitude can only be discussed with them my mother is in germany and she's not coming back anytime soon i have written letters to her and all i have received are silent replies madam principal I have been left alone in this dark world. Alone in this world of hurt and inhumane treatment. A world where love and compassion are lost. A world. Nusra, what do you mean? Madam Principal, I have nothing. And nowhere to go. This world is full of human alligators. So fierce. Rude. And crude. Crude with eyes that spit animosity fire. But if getting admitted here is an impossible task. It's okay. I'll find my way. Wait, Sister Beverly. Madam Principal, I think clearly this girl has nothing with her. 
no parents here, no academic credential, no identification. But we can't let her wander in wilderness. What if something happens to her? Please talk to our superiors. Please. Okay. I will go talk to them. Thank you, sister. Nusra, as the principal talks to our superiors, we believe they will allow you to school here. Thank you. Sister Beverly. Madam principal. As I go talk to our superiors, please take the advantage of the medics being in school. Nusra's eyes examined to ascertain the extent of her blindness. Certainly. But, Madam Principal, I am blind. You don't have to examine my eyes. Nusra, that is just a standard requirement needed before admission. Just in case our superiors give the principal the consent to admit you. But the school just needs to know your visual acuity. Is it painful? No. It is just a standard examination where the medics take you through an anterior segment and dilated fundus evaluation, retinoscopy with cyclopedia, and intraocular pressure measurements. What? In fact, we have the latest digital machines that will give us the full report in seconds. But, madam, if our superiors give me the consent to admit you, then we will need a detailed medical history to help us during placement. But I am blind. No one disputes that. But we need to know the extent of your blindness, your gestational age, and weight. Family history of eye diseases, consanguinity, and any accompanying neurological diseases, and presence of other sensory disabilities. But they can see what? what? I, I, I mean, I can see your point. Good. Switch on the machines. Machine turning on. Machine ready for the scan. One, two, three, start. Machine scanning the eye. Sclera, normal. Cornea, normal. Iris, normal. Pupil, normal. Lens, normal. Retina, Normal. Optic nerves. Normal. Final diagnosis. I. Correct. What? what? Impossible. I am blind. No, you are not. Let's know me. Madam Principal, this girl is not blind. I am blind. Are you sure of this result? They are at risk. Certainly not. Madam Principal, let them repeat the process. The results will be the same. Nusra, there is no harm in repeating the process. Nurses, Madam no. Principal, do it again. No, 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 I will not allow you to do it again. I refuse. Madam Principal, she has refused us to do it again. Gracious, loving father, come down and bail us out of this situation. Madam Principal, what do you suggest we do now? I will call a renowned pediatric ophthalmologist. Yes. Credited for medically restoring the sight of many visually impaired people. Really? She recently came back from Germany, where this optical band was imported from. And she was supposed to be here with us. Then Harry, call her. <laughs> Nurse Naomi, I am not in the correct frame of mind to attend to anything. Doctor, we have a strange eye situation here, and we need your help. Strange eye situation? Is it an astigmatism issue? No. Bilateral or unilateral issue? No. Cataract, conjunctivitis, cornea flap or glycoma? No. What is it then? I cannot classify it. Only you alone can solve this. But I am in... Doctor, please. Our call of duty is to provide eye care services to anyone in need of them, regardless of situations we are in. This is a unique case. Please come over. No, I am in the middle of a very serious personal issue here. Dr. Adeline, what is this? I am being called to attend to an emergency at your neighboring school, Ave Maria School, for the visually impaired. I have a daughter to find. I am not an octopus. Neither can I separate myself in two. Dr. Adeline, I know you are not in the correct frame of mind. But being a doctor, so many lives depend on you. This call could save someone's life. Please attend to it. At the police, 
My teachers and students continue to look for a daughter. No. Doctor Agni. No. She just hung up. What or what do we do? Call her again. Ah. Fine. I am coming. I will go with you. But I cannot let you be alone in this situation. In fact, let us use a small back gate to Abe Maria school. It is way shorter. This way, please. She is coming. I hope this gets so. Amen. She is the best pediatric ophthalmologist we have. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Karibu, Doctor. Welcome, Doctor. Sister Maria is my name. The school principal here. Pleasure is mine. Where is the patient? Doctor, this pa Where is the patient? I don't have the luxury of time. Inside the optical van. She claims to be blind and the machine skater either okay. Where is the patient? I am not going to stand here and allow you to mislead the principal with your wrong diagnosis. Musra, our machines are, are wrong. <laughs> Oh my god, daughter! Daughter! Come to mommy! You know her! Exactly! You had me worried! I was almost running mad! Nuru! Nuru! Her name is Nusra Burkat! No! Nusra Burkat is the character she played in her primary school play! People joining us in form one! What? She was the best actress during the festival! a situation acting blind dressing in Muslim outfits leaving their threatening notes Nuru why? Mother I am tired I have spent too much energy trying to be invisible take me home Nuru daughter Mother, take Judging me. 
on their eyes. Their eyes are spears that spike through our soul and conscience. With poison as intolerable utterances. Their eyes. Their eyes are hammers that crush our self being into pebbles of immeasurable substances. Their eyes. Their eyes are. No, no. I better be blind. No, no daughter. Spare me the agony of watching you harm yourself. Mother, I am tired. Tired of this world full of hate. Just let me be blind. No, no, I. I am your teacher. What obligated to raise you, guide you, and protect you? I have always listened to my students as their guardian. I have always given them the love, care, and protection they need. Tell me, tell me what is troubling you. Your mother is worried. We are worried. I don't want to go back to that school. Why? Lulu, speak to us. Lulu. Them. Ocean Pals Academy is one of the best schools around. Ocean Pals Academy is a hell on earth. Lulu, what, what do you mean? mean? That school. What, what about it? That school is... Kyla! Ultra! What is this? It? How to say? Pitch me against the phone one. I, Kyla, carry this ocean ball with Amir from one. How? How? Madam Principal, it has always been a routine at the school to use Miss Ocean Pulse as the face of the school when it comes to school marketing and branding. Those are the optics that we need to change. Yeah. By using Nuru, parents out there will have the confidence in us as a school. For admitting the best KCB student country. Work. But Madam Principal, Kayla, the current Miss Ocean Pulse is an academic dwarf. A spoiled girl who has been given everything that distracts her from concentrating in her academic. Madam! This is a girl who has been fought for the latest iPhone with accounts in all social media platforms. She is so concerned about her social media numbers, more than the numbers she posts in her exams. If the lowest number of likes. She gets when she posts a picture on social media, was used as maxi in class. She will be the current top student in form 3, but she gets 100 in likes and zero in class. Madam! So not for the idea to use Kyla as our top model. I confirm you. Madam! Uh, Kyla! That form 1 will not come to this school and take what is mine. Never! Never. By no means will that form 1 snatch the land like from me. It, it is, is either you or you. No one else. She is my cube and I know a secret she has been hiding. Let's go pay that twin sister for water. I'll visit. Kyla, what do you want? Who told you? Who the right to deny or compete with the seniors of this school? Who? Kyla! I told you I have no hand in teachers' decisions. And neither do I have the power to go against their word. This school has a tradition. Is that true, girl? Yes! yes. Get the 
You had me. Don't come near me. For your no, let's go. Please. no.
agent can help me normalize my skin. No, no, don't. This condition makes me ugly. This condition makes them see me as a cow, a monster. It is high time. Belinda. No. Why are tears rolling down your cheeks? It's it's for Kyla and her friends. Bad man looking good in the air. Bad man drip to the car. Spot cars parked on the right spot. What have they done? They they. No. Kyla, don't do anything to her. Shut up. Take her to the pit at the far end of the school. Watch trash like her belongs. No. Move. Please, don't do this to me. Silence! This place just like you. Just please eat! Smile! <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Dirty Contagious Thing! More Thursday! Madam Principal! That is what they have done to me. That is wrong! Completely unacceptable to have a phone in school. How can they do that to a fellow student? I am wretched. Kyla and your friends. Madam Principal. On your knees. Girls, you are all aware that bullying is unaccepted in this school. But silence. Indiscipline will not be condoned in this school. Madam Principal, we are sorry. It will not happen again. For the next Two weeks. You will be washing the school corridors twice a day, picking litter twice a day, and reporting to my office twice a day. Is that clear? Yes, Madam Principal. So, you had the guts to report us to Prince Monday. Kaila, I. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let us assure again that you reported us to Prince Mandevu or any other teacher in this school. Believe you me, you will not only be a fresh and cow, but a crippled fresh and cow. Ma! Belinda! That is exactly what they say they will do to me. If I report them to the principal,
Bitty Lego. It's not contagious. What? If it's not contagious, where did I get it from? No. It is said that Bitty Lego sometimes runs in families. Sometimes runs in families? Mother, what does she mean? Mother, talk to me. Daughter, the inheritance pattern is, is complex. What do you mean? About one-fifth of people with this condition have at least a relative who is also affected. But I have never seen anyone with it in our family. Who is that person? I would love to hate him or her in the same measure I am hated. Daughter, hate is too much a burden to bear. Mother, how do I shelter love in this condition? Mother, tell me who that is. Tell me. Dr. Adeline, talk to her. My tongue is tied. Dr. Dr. Adeline. Mother, talk to me. Just like the rest, my mother has left me, has abandoned me. How will I know the genesis of my condition, daughter? What? You, you, you are not my mother. No, no, my mother is flawless, spotless. Doctor Adeline, you, you also, also have it, Lego. Yes. Mother, how? Six months ago. Before I left for Germany, I saw a spot on my tummy. I thought it was just a blemish. But as days went by, more and more spots started appearing on my body, spreading towards my face. For the past six months, I have been wearing concealers and foundation to hide my flaws behind makeup. Because I realized in this day and age, people think that Bitty Lyco could pass to them like a cold or virus. They fear sharing a meal, a seat, a handshake. Ah, oh, that this is too much. We are a society that judges harshly with our eyes. We see the plus size people and we murder their ego with our eyes and bury their esteem with our words. The dark skinned are not spared either. You hear people referring to them as walking night scenes. Those with pimples, acne, stretch marks, baby tummies are not left either. For the past six months, I have been unable to come out of this shell of makeup. But Lulu, some of us have stood strong against the tides of body shaming. Look at me, at my age and position. Society still subjects me to body shaming. My students. have nicknamed me Prissy Mandevu because I am a woman and I have beards Siana Kamu Baba <laughs> We live in a society that has placed a profound significance on appearance, aesthetics and pigmentation 
but being different does not stop you from achieving your life goals. You need to accept who you are. No. Many magazine cover models are photoshopped. Social media pictures are full of filters. These beauty standards are so unrealistic. Extremely unrealistic. Daughter, I agree with them. If I had come out and shown my true self to the world that I have this condition, then I would have taught you self-love and acceptance. True, mother. If this condition is not contagious or life-threatening, then let me cover myself with a shield of self-love and acceptance. I will not hide or run away from their vicious eyes. Don't. This condition will not stop me from being the person I want to be in exactly. life. Exactly. Madam Principal, let the journey back to school commence. Wait, Madam Principal, what is it again? No. Sneaking out of school is a punishable offense which you committed. Madam. And therefore, as Kyla and her friends, Face the disciplinary committee for bullying and mistreating you. Nuru, we are sorry. And as they will be educated on this condition and how to appreciate others, you will have to stop your punishment for sneaking out of school. But Madam school rules are school rules. Madam Principal, does that mean she would be the face of the school prior to her disappearance? As the administration, we had made the decision of her being the face of our school. Nuru, my daughter, my roommate. Ah, oh. in the hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are, and you don't have to change a thing. The world could change its heart. No scars, we are beautiful. We're stars and we're beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. And you don't have to change a thing. The world could change its heart. No scars, we are beautiful. We're stars and we're beautiful. Liara, the eyes have it. Mr. President, it is an honor. Wonderful, wonderful. Another round of applause for that wonderful, wonderful production.